my goal is to help as many people as I can, to reach as many people as I can, to let them know that what they see on the internet and social media, a lot of that is just smoke and mirrors. Life is not perfect. Diets are not perfect. Lifestyles are not perfect. I'm here to share my journey with you. I am not a healthcare professional, but if my journey helps inspire you or shows you that there is another way to control your diabetes, to lose weight, a different way to do keto than I have succeeded. My weight loss journey spans probably four decades at this point, and it has been a messy ride. So if you're following people on social media that are on that perfect journey, and it makes you feel bad about yourself and your journey, unfollow, find what works for you, find your way. A day in the life of a type 1 diabetic doing a keto and low carb lifestyle. Remember you guys are on Mira's cat tower and she's up in it. And of course making the camera move. Let's chat because I need some advice. If any of you all know what's going on please let me know if this is normal or not if you're diabetic of course but got up at seven ish this morning checked my blood sugar and i was at 106 which is good my endocrinologist wants me at under 120 upon waking got up walked around did a few things everything was still fine at about 7:45, decided to go ahead and take a shower blood sugar was still great by the time I get out of the shower, my blood sugar has skyrocketed up to like 136. 30 points just from a shower. My question is, is that normal? It's on my list so that I can ask my endocrinologist next time I go. So after I get out of the shower, I go ahead and take one unit of fast acting insulin to help bring it down. This is the List Pro. I was on the Humalog. This is the generic form of Humalog and I'm trying it out. For some reason, the Humalog takes longer to work on me, usually about an hour, hour and a half. The List Pro works a lot faster, usually within 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm liking this one. This morning, I plan on skipping breakfast because of this really weird blood sugar and drinking some water because I may be dehydrated and need to get some of this in. I do tend to skip my water consumption. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna try to get in this entire motivational bottle by lunchtime. Of course, I will be having lunch, snack, dinner, snack, dessert. Take my shower, I'm gonna go dry my hair really quick before this heat decides to uh, get it dry and frizzy. I don't know about y'all, but we're having uh, a little bit of a mini heat wave here. I think the entire country is. During the chat today, we're going to discuss my appointment that I had with the dermatologist about rosacea. And I also had an appointment this past week with my rheumatologist, arthritis doctor. So we're going to chat about all of those. Okay, I'll see you in just a sec. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago Three loads of laundry I ran the vacuum cleaner Edited a video Went and got Quincy some food 30 minutes away Oh my gosh He's on prescription canned food from the vet. I got two cases. It was over a hundred dollars. Had to run a few errands, stopped by the bank, cleaned up the kitchen, put dishes up. I think now is definitely a great time to sit down and have some lunch. 
salmon bites in the air fryer. It's so simple. So all I did was thaw a piece of salmon. This is the one that I pick up at Sam's Club. I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces or little cubes. I'm gonna toss those little cubes in olive oil and then you can add your seasonings of choice, but you wanna get that fully coated. I'm gonna use Everything Spicy by Flavor God. Now add your liner to the basket into the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes or until fully cooked. This is gonna give them the opportunity to get crispy on all of those sides. While the salmon's in the air fryer, I'm gonna throw a bag of the Green Giant Rust Veggie Cauliflower into the microwave and steam that in the bag. Into my pan, I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream, Parmesan, and some garlic powder. Add your rust cauliflower and let that simmer until it thickens and then you have this nice alfredo risotto medley. I add my salmon to the top of my rice cauliflower and I'm done. Really simple quick meal. Salmon and cauliflower is one of those magic meals that doesn't cause me to have a blood sugar spike. All I'm going to do is take one unit of insulin. It's going to be one of those cautionary units. You ready for a snack? Chris is busy working out in the yard today and it's pretty warm. So what I figure we'll do is have a late dinner. So instead of just a traditional snack, like I usually do, I fixed a snack plate and I thought I'd sit out here and we could chat it up. So what I'm having is some pepper jack cheese, three Duke's shorty sausages. I'm having some avocado with tahini, and I'm having one of these little delicious beauties. I've already posted these over on TikTok in the YouTube shorts for you. I'll have it linked in the description box. These little bites that I make, I use the Mellow Munch Bars, which are like a Rice Krispie treat that Perfect Keto has. They have them in, I think the original like vanilla, the peanut butter ones, and they have the chocolate chocolate ones, but what I do is I make like eight little bite-sized snacks out of them because I'm not somebody who likes to eat an entire bar. I may just want a bite of something sweet with a snack tray right after a meal just to satisfy that sweet tooth and then that's all I needed. These were made with the peanut butter mellow munch and then I mixed a spoonful of peanut butter, two tablespoons of melted Lily's chocolate and then I crumbled that bar up, mixed it all together and then scooped out eight bite-sized pieces. It brings it down to only one net carb. You have to try these. If you like that crunchy, if you like that salty, and you like that sweet all together, delicious. If you are watching this video before July 5th, the Perfect Keto is having one of their biggest sales of the year. It's going to be buy two, get one free. My favorites to pick up are going to be the collagen, their Nola bars, and we just talked about those Mellow Munch bars. In the description box, I'll have the link. Click on that and it will automatically apply your discount. To drink, I'm having a Baja Blast Zero Sugar. You can probably hear Chris working on the landscaping. But I finished my bottle of water, my big motivational bottle of water, around noon today, so I was right on time. Already had lunch, but my blood sugar decided to go ahead and plummet, so I'm at like 71 and thought I would do a snack. I am not taking any insulin with this. I love cheese. One thing I've not always liked, though, has been avocado, but I love it now. Sprinkle some tahini over it, or maybe a little bit of salt. So good. So last week I had a dermatologist appointment. There goes Chris through our yard. So I made that dermatologist appointment because you guys kept telling me I needed to get checked for rosacea because of this red nose. I blew it off thinking, I don't have rosacea. I would have been diagnosed by now. Well, I was wrong as usual, just add that to the list. I have rosacea. She put me on some medication. I've not started the cream yet though because I do want to research it some more. While I was there, I had my mold check, you know, my yearly done, and I had a little spot right here. Well, actually it was about the size of your pinky nail that she was concerned about. It was red, it was irregular, it looked weird under her little like handheld light microscope. So she did a biopsy. Basically she just cut the top layer off and and then sent it in to get checked for any kind of skin cancer, melanomas, or anything like that. Good news is, I already got the results back. 
and everything is fine. Quincy's pacing because he keeps hearing noises. This past week, I also had my appointment with my rheumatologist. It's just a checkup. My markers from the last appointment had all come back, not showing anything, but I definitely have something else going on. It could take years before those markers come back in my blood work showing that I have another autoimmune disease. I mean, of course, I'm struggling still mentally with the type 1 diabetes diagnosis because for some reason, I just cannot seem to figure this whole thing out. Every single day is different. So it's not like I can just have the same thing to eat every day, take the same insulin and have the same blood sugar. That's not how it works, unfortunately. I feel like I got maybe a little bit of anxiety going on and probably just a little bit of depression, but I feel like it's because I'm not getting a diagnosis for what's going on with me. I know something is going on. I know my body. So it's extremely frustrating. The lab work should probably be back in about a week, week and a half. So I'll give you guys a follow up. I went ahead and asked if she could do like a vitamin panel, see what's going on there, check my iron, my saturation, my ferritin, all of those things to see where it lands. So I'll know if I need to go get some more iron infusions. And speaking of iron infusions, I showed you guys the patches that I've been using. I got those on Amazon. Rick and a couple of other people over here told me about them, but I wondered if maybe those patches would help. I'm gonna go check on Chris, take him a bottle of water, and I will see you guys at the next meal. Since I'm not doing a high carb meal, I'm only gonna take two units of Lispro fast acting insulin. Keeping it simple for dinner tonight. Salad, I've added bacon and shredded cheese. Favorite ranch, olive garden, Parmesan ranch. I just picked this up at Walmart. Green beans, added butter and let those cook until tender. I made chicken tenders in the air fryer. I've shown this before where I use the Wisp cheese crumbs. This one is the Italian herb. I did add additional Parmesan cheese where I used my air fryer. I didn't heat up my house and it took a lot less time. And to drink, I'm having a Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. We're sitting down to watch TV and I don't know about you guys, but I like to have a snack when I do. And tonight's snack is gonna be the Ratio Keto Friendly Yogurt. But I'm having the coconut. And on top of that, I add the sugar-free whipped heavy cream. This is just a great value brand that I pick up at Walmart. If you remember a couple of weeks ago that my obsession was chia seed pudding, it has now converted to Ratio Yogurts. I eat one of these pretty much every single day. My two favorite flavors are the strawberry and the coconut. And I'm also gonna have one of these nut clusters. I had meal prepped them earlier in the week. This is a low carb dessert. So it's not gonna cause me to have this massive blood sugar spike. So I'm only gonna take one unit of insulin with it. It's getting late. I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have an amazing week.